Imagine a missile screaming toward an enemy ship, steered by three hungry pigeons pecking at a screen in the nose cone. This isn't sci-fi, this was a real US military program during World War II. Welcome to Project Pigeon. In 1943, famous psychologist B.F. Skinner, the guy who trained rats to press levers, walked into the Pentagon with a wild proposal. Pigeons could guide bombs more accurately than any human or machine at the time. His logic, Pigeons have incredible vision and can be trained, with food, to peck at a target image. Put them inside a missile, show them the target on a screen, and if they keep the crosshairs centered, by pecking, the missile stays on course. Skinner built a nose cone simulator with three pigeons side by side. Each bird looked at its own screen showing the view ahead. Their pecks tilted the flight controls, basically majority vote steering. In tests, the pigeons nailed moving targets with insane accuracy, even when the simulator was shaken, spun, and jolted to mimic flight. The system outperformed every mechanical guidance tech of the era. So why didn't we have pigeon-guided bombs? Generals laughed it off. One reportedly said, I don't want to run a war with a bunch of birds. The project was killed in 1944, then secretly revived in 1948 as Project Orcon during the Cold War. It still worked perfectly, but by 1953, radar and early computers finally won. Pigeons were officially retired from missile duty. Project Pigeon remains one of the strangest, most successful failures in military history. It proved that a bird's brain could outperform 1940s engineering, and that sometimes the best idea loses because it's just too ridiculous. Drop a like if you wish we still had pigeon missiles, and tell me in the comments, would you trust birds to guide a bomb? See you next time.